Hey there, this is Land of the Comedian Medium. Good morning and welcome to your March cusp readings. Please hit like and subscribe, hit that little bell. And you can uh, be entered into a drawing, I guess you could say, to get a free reading. Sometimes I even, if you pay me and we, we set up a reading for half hour, an hour, that's usually what I do. I'll give you your money back sometimes. I have done it recently and they're, they're surprised. I said, because you're my free reading for the month. So please uh, like and subscribe for that. Please visit Enchanted Sky. I'm 25 to 35% off right now. So you're saving about 20 to like $30, $35 or something like that on some of the readings. Um, please also uh, visit thewisewomansage.com. That's my blog. And I get up, I, I have someone working on it for me now. It's transcripts from metaphysical meanderings. All right. By the way, thank you very much. I got over a half a million live watchers on metaphysical meanderings and about, they said that we thought from what we're seeing about a million downloads a month. So I'm doing very well. So thank you for all of that. Um, thank you so much, you guys, for donating any kind of money towards my fund to buy my rescue and the horse farm and uh, general wellness center. I, I places people can meditate. I'm, I'm wanting to do this. Um, I have five acres, it's not quite big enough and I'm trying to buy land around me. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Anyway, with that said, your joke of the day, have you, um, you know that I, I, have a, I have a snail and I enter in snail races, you know? And he wasn't winning, right? So I, I decided to take his shell off, but then he really got sluggish. Okay, let's get on with this. Hey there, Libra Scorpio. This is your reading, your forecast for March, okay, uh, 2021. <clears throat> so I am upping my game. I am adding more videos that you know and... I'm going to be combining finance, general, and career kind of in one reading soon. So that way I have more time to help with other videos that I want to shoot, okay? But what I'm doing so that you understand is there's two, there's always more than one thing going on. It's a general reading. Now, there's a for some of you, this is a career reading. For some of you, this is a love reading. And so I'm going to go into both on this, okay, so that you understand. I first am going to do career, then I'm going to do love. So if you're watching both, they're here. If you're watching, you don't want the love reading, take what you need, let the rest go. Because what's going on is you're wondering about a change. And you're thinking, you're, you're wanting to make a change. Now... The King of Wands is a card of fearlessness. You know, are you brave enough? You know, the, the remember that these cards, I explain them. I try to explain them like I would a teacher because I'm a master teacher. But um, 30 years. Uh, this is the card of change. And this is the card that, that for good or for bad crosses you. Are you brave enough to make a change? Now... There's people involved. There's plans. I mean, you've been fairly successful throughout, throughout this whole thing. Now, this can re represent you being successful, but it also can represent your home, um, things things going well. And you're, you've, you've achieved much, but you have a lot yet to do. And this is the card of money making. Now, there's some money going on here. I still say that in this month of March, February, late February, early March, that the United States is getting money. Stimulus check something. Now this could be you. Now it is the in the Earth sign, so it's it's probably a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Now. It could be you, somebody helping you or somebody that's in your life this month. You know, um, 
there were decisions that were made in the recent past that were of power. This could be the government. This could be a judge, a doctor or something. And you're just trying to take the bull by the horns and because this month and that you're going to, you know, remember that this energy comes from ancestors. If you notice, it's coming from the clouds. It, they're giving you the energy to go forward. They're giving you the idea. They're giving you the opportunity. Now, there's confusion this month. <laughs> and you're not quite which way to go. And this card is also a little, it's, it's the card of animals, the card of cancer. It's also the card of things being not quite clear. Okay. Now, the 10... Of swords is that this always the darkest before the dawn. So something, it's something big is going to happen. Things didn't work out. Things aren't working out. Things you're looking towards new horizons is what, I know what it means, and your hopes, your fears, your dreams is that you know you're going to hold on and kind of budget yourself this month. You know they're just they're they're holding on tight to some of your ideals and, and your money and everything, just kind of in a, not quite a weight uh, holding pattern, but kind of waiting out stuff because you're trying to make, you're trying to almost break out of something, break loose, okay? Now, Page of Wands is a message. It's a creative message. It's an inspira inspiring message that's coming your way that's going to change everything, and it's in your environment. Now, you're juggling a little bit. You are juggling time or money this month, and it's in your environment. And now the King of Cups can represent a, a fire, a water sign. So it could be your, your a significant other, but it also can mean a time for you to heal and time to wait things out. So see how there's a, you know, let's clarifier. Yeah, you're gonna be going forward with something. Remember I said, now that could mean travel, can mean a car too, but it's in your environment. Now, Whoops, I'm juggling cards all over. You know, you've waited it out. You have waited this out. And you are, someone is bringing you an opportunity for love. That's the king of that. That's somebody's bringing you love. And something you love, something. Remember that by, remember I've told you that I don't believe in manifestation, just pulling something, just something happening. It's intent. What is your intent? I intend to do this. It's And then I'm going to align myself. Align myself with what I want. And then it manifests. See, it's that energy going forward. Now, this is a new job card. This is a new job card. This is discontent. That you're not happy the way things are. So, do you see what I'm saying? There's somebody, there's some type of opportunity. This could be a side hustle. It looks good, and I'm very pleased to see that some people are finally, there's a lot of, of one cards in here, and, and one cards are representing the seed of something. See, look at the seed, the idea, you know, see they're being, being divinely sent to you, okay? And it looks to me like someone is trying to start a new job of some sort. Now, I'm going to pull just for the job situation. Prosperity is lying ahead for you. There is. I mean, this is Taurus. This is the, the ultimate money card. Okay telling you that you're going to be saying if there is something that comes your way this month do not turn it down if it is an opportunity all right confidence is your key to success you got to stay confident you got to believe in yourself remember remember one more time intent align manifest it's time to take action don't, don't sit around and you are taking action because that card right here. You see how a lot of these cards go together? 
there. This and this card here. See how they go? All right. Just that you know, understand. They all look, I'm, I'm relaying cards just for affirmations. Your dreams need a practical plan. They're telling, that's a very nice way of saying, don't just go like a bull in a china shop. Make plans, see? Emotions are running high. You're really emotional about all this. See, look at, there's some discontent. Be bold and make the first move. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this this deck because these decks are multi-layered. You guys have to understand when I write a general reading. Now, this could be love, and I want to I want to explain this. There is a change, and you want to know if there is the man of your dreams coming. That's what this card can mean. It can also mean a fire sign. So it could also mean a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. You know, you're wanting plans and the home has become very important to you and your, your, your surroundings. Now, somebody is involved here that's an earth sign. You know, we've already talked about that. You're making a plan to go forward with a new person, a new situation, you're ending a relationship. Do you see how these cards are multi-layered? Depending on how, what's the subject matter, okay? Now, you're ending something, and you're confused, but yet you're, you're ending it because you have the Knight of Swords, or the, excuse me, the Ace of Swords. Now, you want something new. You want that cup of love. You want something brought to you. And you have an opportunity. Now, it's telling me right here very specifically in love that there may be, you may be juggling two people and you can't make your mind up right away. Okay? So there is um, a possible third party or you're juggling two men or women. Now, the King of Cups can represent a water sign, okay, in love, all right? It's a time of reflection also. Now, that also is a very, very kind, considerate person. Um, it also can be a water sign, like I said. It can be a, a Cancer, a, a, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Now, all I know is that you're willing to put the hard work into a relationship, but you're discontent in the relationship you're in. You want change. And I feel like you're going forward. So you, you make the moves. You do the things that you need to get to this. Because while this is a card of money, this is also the seed of a new relationship. Okay. love. See, look at a new romantic cycle begins. See what I'm saying? Um, I know in the past that I go back and forth a little because there's always cards, depending on what, when you're doing a general reading, you just lay cards and whatever comes up, comes up, right? Well, that's what I'm doing. And it's been, can be taken in, depending on what subject matter, love or money. Okay. It's time to take action. So they're telling you, yeah, if you're wanting to a new relationship, then you need to walk away, find the new guy, the new person, the man, the woman, whatever. I sometimes say guy because I'm a full woman, but the seed is there this month for that. All right? Don't be so, don't spend your time being so discontented. Okay? You, you deserve to get your happiness. You're a very emotional. Now, remember we got this, we've got a couple of these couple of these cards. Now, I remember I shuffled and shuffled, and I still got the same cards, which is very, it kind of tells you that these cards are accurate. Um, 
Emotions are running high. You're very emotional. Um, there's a speeding up of energy I know of this month, okay? And I can feel it. And I know people are really worried about all these other uh, coronaviruses that are out. I still feel like we are starting to try to go back to more normal terms, okay? Your dreams need a practical plan. I said to plan, plan this out. You know, this is planning, you're, you know, if you're gonna get rid of somebody, get rid of somebody. I don't necessarily see that so much as looking for some the person of your dreams this month. Have faith in your dreams because you know what? They will come true. Make sure you're communicating. Make sure you're communicating clearly what you want from people, okay? From a, a, the man, the relationship. You know, it look, it's always the darkest part of the dawn. And, and for some of you, you may be ending a relationship, all right? But for others, you're just now really searching. And maybe you've been without someone for a while. And you're looking for, you're getting ready to look for that special someone. Okay? This is Lana, the comedian medium. Uh, Lana's Enchanted Sky. Blessings to all of you. Please hit like and subscribe. And please tell me how you think about this reading, if this makes more sense. Um, I'm doing a lot of growth myself. So blessings to all of you. And I will be coming back with you with just, just your reading for your financing career. Blessings.